Hey, this is Norm from Tested.com. I'm here with Martha Jane Chatton. You're the CEO and president of Telefactor Robotics. Yes. What does Telefactor do? So Telefactor means to do things at a distance. So we're all about naturalistic, intuitive telepresence. So we either remote your head and vision, or we remote your dexterity and give it to any robot that it can uh, go on. Now the head part is really interesting to us because you're also integrating head tracking with That's your right. camera system. Can you tell me a little bit about this head tracking system that you developed? Okay, so um, what we've done here is we've built a very fast uh, gimbaled sensor system that was basically designed to mimic a human head. And once we did that, we were able to control it using standard head tracking technology to basically remote your vision and duplicate your your abilities to see remotely. Now to get that latency down to as minimal as possible so you feel like you're actually present in that gimbaled system, it seems like the IMUs that we have in head tracking can rate thousands of times a second. It's yeah. very fast. Is the limitation in the motors and in the gimbal? Yeah, the bottleneck is certainly not in the head tracking itself. So the rest of it is a combined software, mechanical, and electrical design problem that you have uh, to handle end to end to keep the latency down. So what type of motors are you using here to get that fast response? Um, well, we uh, basically use COTS motors, but it's the control of them that basically gives it the human-like response. Is there some type of a prediction in there, or is it just taking the, the, the rate that you're um, sensing on here and then translating to that? Uh, no, not much prediction. It's mostly a job of taking what your head normally does and then interpreting it in a way that the gimbal can move effectively. So roll can be handled either through a mechanical roll axis, or we can do it um, with an electronic roll, so just rotate the image. And I see one camera here, uh, so it's monoscopic, but could this theoretically be applied to a stereoscopic camera system? Yes, we've built um, high definition stereo systems as well for truly immersive high definition um, uh, telepresence experiences. And that's with the use of, I presume, a, a wide angle lens or a wide angle cameras and some stitching um, to merge in that, the video image. Uh, well, actually what we like to do in our stereo system is give it some zoom capability so that you could see the world um, in full high def, but then also kind of improve your vision as it were and zoom in on things of interest still in full 3D. Now in terms of applications, having that low latency, it's a big jump than just looking at a computer monitor and, and moving like a webcam around. Could you do things like drive a car remotely? What are the kind of actions that you can get with a telepresence robot of this low latency? A system like this, we've had it in a number of different vehicles, anything from a skid loader to a bulldozer to um, bomb disposal robots. So the actual vehicle itself doesn't really matter. It basically gives you the ability to go there and make those operations better. Wow, and this is technology you're still developing It's going to get better over time as well? Well, actually, we've had the HARV for a couple of years now and um, had it on some bomb disposal robots and uh, with very uh, good capabilities improvements for the operators of the robots. So a great deal of it is done, um, but as always, there's more to, more to be done to make it even better. Any chance this will hit consumers uh, in, the, in the future? Well, we would love that to happen. I would love that as well. Thank you so much, Martha Jane, for sharing with us HARV and the research you guys are doing at Telefactor. Thanks.